Hi friends, my name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk most important discussion of Spring Framework that is what is bean collaboration or dependency injection and uh, understanding what is loose coupling and what tight coupling. So first of all, answer me, can we develop entire project with a single class? No. Can we write all logics of the project using single Java class? No. So definitely we need to take the support of what multiple classes. No doubt in that. Is that clear? Right. So when you take multiple classes, definitely those classes should be there in dependency or not. That means one class will start using another classes or not. One class will start using one or more multiple classes or not. Come on. So, that means we have to take classes having dependency. For example, you take a class called Flipkart. It is offering shopping services. So definitely it has to take the support of what? One courier class called DTDC or not. So now tell me, both classes are there in dependency. Both classes are there in what? Collaboration. And if I feel both classes are spring beans, uh, spring beans are nothing but Java classes whose objects are created and managed by spring container, nothing but IOC container are called spring beans. So can I say both classes are there in collaboration? If I feel those classes are spring beans, I can say those classes are there in what bean collaboration or not. So ultimate conclusion here is, we cannot develop entire project using single class. We have to take multiple classes having dependency. You have to see them participating in what? Collaboration. This comes under, okay, keeping classes in what? Dependency, nothing but dependency management or keeping classes in what? Collaboration, nothing but bean collaboration. I think everyone understood this one. So Flipkart, DTDC. Both should be there in collaboration. Both must be there in dependency. Why? Once the shopping is over, Flipkart will use what? DTDC courier service support to deliver the products or not? Definitely. So here, Flipkart class is called as what? Target class or main class. DTDC class is called what? Dependent class or what? Helper class. Okay, na? So, so if I feel Flipkart and DTDC both classes are spring beans, nothing but I want to see spring container uh, creating objects of those classes and managing those objects. Then I can say both classes should be there in what? Collaboration or not? That is nothing but bean collaboration. Okay, now listen. When you design classes having dependency, or when you design classes, making them participating in what? Collaboration. If degree of dependency is more, degree of dependency is what? More. Okay, then it is called what? Tight coupling. If degree of dependency is what? Less, that is called what? Loose coupling. Suppose Flipkart is forever forced to take what? DTDC as a courier service and they don't have any freedom to move to what? Other courier service. If they want to move to another courier service, source code of Flipkart should be modified. Then I can say the degree of dependency between Flipkart and what? DTDC classes are what? very high, I can say they are there in what? Tight coupling. I can definitely say they are there in what? Tight coupling. If degree of dependency is less or minimum between two classes, then they can say, they, they can be called as loosely coupled components or loosely coupled classes. So Flipkart is working with the DTDC. Without modifying source code of Flipkart, we are able to move to what? Blue dot class. We are able to move to what? Some other class. We are able to move to what? Some other courier service without having any change in the source code of what? Flipkart. So then we can say they are there in what? Loose coupling. They are there in what? Loose coupling. So final conclusion is what? If degree of dependency is more between two components, we can call them as tightly coupled components. If degree of dependency is less between two components, they are called what? Loosely coupled components. So let us uh, try to take some more examples around it. Fan and switch, tightly coupled components because we cannot rotate the fan without switch. 
TV and remote loosely coupled component because we can operate TV without remote also. You might have forgotten, check it out. So by going to TV console, we can operate the TV. So that comes under what? Loosely coupling, loose coupling, loosely coupled. If degree of dependency is more between two components, tightly coupled, less loosely coupled. So if I write one one line statements on this one, where is this bean collaboration? Keeping bean classes, Java classes, independence is called bean collaboration, is called bean collab. Flipkart main oblique target. Next one DTDC dependent oblique helper class. If if the degree of dependency is more between two components then they are called tightly coupled component. Example, fan and switch. If degree of dependency is less, if the degree of dependency is what? Less between two components, then they are called, what components? Loosely coupled components. What is the example? TV and remote. Because we can operate TV without remote. We can operate TV without remote. If degree of, remo uh, degree of dependency is more, tightly coupled. Can we operate fan without switch? No. Right. Super boss. Mm. Now listen. So, final conclusion is we cannot develop Java project with one class, more classes. That those classes should be there in dependency or nothing but collaboration. If co between collaborator classes, dependency is more, okay, then tightly coupled. Dependency is less, okay, we are able to move from one dependent class to another dependent class without touching the source code of our target class. Then they are called loosely coupled. Mm -hmm. Listen. So let us try to understand total how many approaches are there to design classes having dependency. What is the merit and demerits of each approach, right? So different approaches of designing, designing classes having dependency, having dependency. Approach 1, approach 1, make target class target class having dependent class object. What is this? Composition. So that concept is nothing but what? Composition. Right boss. In target class, I have to create dependent class object. In Flipkart class, I have to create object of what? DTDC. Indirectly composition. Concentrate. Next. Make target class getting make target class getting dependent class object object from a factory from a factory you know that factory is a design pattern that tells you ask me object i will give object but don't ask me how that object is being created that is called factory pattern factory provides abstraction and on object creation process and simplifies the process of creating what object Car factory, you ask for car, it will give car. They never expose how car is being manufactured. Biscuit factory, you ask for biscuit, they will give biscuit. But they never tell what formula, what recipe they have used to create that particular biscuit. So, I do not want to see my target class manually creating object of what dependent class. I can make target class getting dependent class object from a fact so that target ask factory give me object and you will get the object super boss what is next one copy next approach three here is my 
approach through. Make target class getting dependent class object from J and D A registry. If object is a local variable in the method that is specific to each method. If object is instance variable in a class that is specific to each object of that class. If object is a static variable of a class that is specific to a class. But I want more global visibility, remote accessibility for object. So then you place that object in a separate registry called J and A registry. There are cos registry, RMI registry. There are so many registries are there acting as what J and A registry. If you want to provide global visibility or accessibility to object, make sure that that object or its reference is placed in what J and A registry. So that it can be accessed from local clients, it can be accessed from remote client, it can be accessed from any Java client, it can be accessed from remote or local classes. See object in the method, specific to method, object in as the instance variable of a class, specific to each object of a class, object as a static variable of a class, specific to each class. But I want, I want more visibility than that more global visibility, local clients, remote clients, same mission client, different mission client, far clients, so everyone should be in a position to use the object. So then we have to place that object in what? J and A registry. Examples for J and A registry are cost registry, RMI registry, all these are J and A registry. So next one, approach number four. Make target class inheriting, make target class extending from, extending from, extending from dependent class, extending from dependent class, make target class extending from dependent class, where is this inheritance approach, yes, uh, Flipkart class can inherit from what DTDC in order to enjoy the facilities that are there in DTDC. Then what is next one, approach 5, make IOC container or framework injecting dependent class object to target class object, dependent class object to target class object. So indirectly use dependency injection, dependency injection concept of, concept of, okay, spring frame. These are the total five approaches I analyzed and placed here. So no doubt fifth technique is the best technique, but what are the problems with other techniques and why we should go for fifth technique and what are the various improvisation that we should do on fifth technique in order to achieve loose coupling. So we are going to discuss all these five approaches, their merits, demerits why it is tightly coupled, why it is loosely coupled and what is the best, anyhow fifth one is the best, but what are the other improvisation we should do to make it more best and to achieve loose coupling that is what I am going to talk in tomorrow's video, that means in the next video. I hope you got overall idea about this particular thing. So if you have any queries on this particular discussion, you please mail to my email account natras at what gmail.com. So thank you. I hope you benefited with this video. Happy coding.